I guess that's why they call it the religion of peace, huh? Peace of non-believer here, peace of non-believer there, pieces of non-believers everywhere. Bonjour à tous, hello everyone, my name is Son of Terror 92 and today is rather a remarkable day. It is the 22nd of March 2016 and as of a few hours ago I saw on my news feed reports of a serious terrorist attack in Brussels, Belgium. A total of three explosions went off in the Belgistan, <laughs> excuse me, Belgian capital of Brussels. Two went off at the airport and the third in a public subway metro station. One of the blasts at Zaventum airport was a suicide attack carried out by a suicide bomber. So 72 virgins sold separately, yeah? The terror was very evident in the city as people stumbled out of the attacked areas, traumatized and claiming that it was not their blood on them, but the blood of other victims. The airport explosions happened at an excess baggage payment area and the other one at a Starbucks, the very symbol of Western imperialism. The bombs went off at about 8 a.m. in the morning while people were still sipping on their morning coffee. The casualty count is currently at 26 people dead and more than 100 wounded, of course. It's still early to tell exactly how high those numbers go. The metro has been shut down and people have been told to stay put. The attacks happened as retribution for the recent arrest of Salah Abdel Salem, the leader of the November 2015 Paris attacks. Now, this worries me because the terrorists, whoever they are, they have the capability of reacting immediately to whatever stuff happens to them. This means that their terror network is not weak, they've got this stuff planned out. This incident, alongside the migrant crisis of the past year, which saw hundreds of thousands of refugees fleeing the chaos in the Middle East, has resulted in this sort of attack becoming something that's pretty much expected to happen at this point. It's all just a matter of time. Now the big question is, where next? My guess, I'm thinking Germany. Five Malaysian ringgits on me thinking that Germany is next to experience this kind of thing. Now why am I talking about this? Why does it matter to me? Look, I'm just some wild-eyed Malaysian youth living halfway across the world from where this happened. I'm not a world leader or a hate preacher, but I have been to Belgium. I crossed the country by train in 2013. It was a quiet place, somewhere that I didn't think anything like this could happen. Now that being said, I do foresee myself going back to Belgium someday in the future to attend Tomorrowland Festival in Boom. I want to go to Tomorrowland before I die and no suicidal Muslim jihadi prick is going to ruin that country for me before I get a chance to do so. So my heart's with Belgium on this one. It's a different world that we live in compared to before. The impact of a terror attack is more harmful in the aftermath of the attack because of the disruption of normal everyday functionality. The fact that we have to put extra security in a lot more normal everyday places, that's how the terrorists win. We often think of this kind of situation as a clash between Eastern and Western civilization. But in the long run, there is no East or West. Astronomically, when viewed from the vantage point of outer space, it's more accurate just to say human civilization. We are what we represent to the universe. And if anyone out there is watching, whether it's God or not, Allah or Yahweh, Zeus or Wotan, this is the kind of stuff that we present to the cosmos. And if this is what we choose to show, then it's a pretty piss poor picture indeed. This is why I do what I do here on Science Epic. I spread the ideas of science and chill, science and chill. Just be cool, be nice to each other, and explore the universe here on Science Epic. That's all from me. Until next time, tot ziens.